Hey everyone, it's Raj from 3CB Performance. Today's topic is Markeith Morris's transient cervical neuropraxia, which happened originally on December 16th when he got hit in the chin during the Lakers game, and then you re-aggravated it 10 days later against the Pistons. So first things first, what the heck does that mean? So transient cervical neuropraxia is commonly known as a stinger or burner, and you often hear about it with football players. It commonly happens when you get hit in the neck or the shoulder, and that compresses on nerves in your neck. Typically, these nerve roots are C5, C6, and it results in temporary or transient changes in sensation, which can be things like numbness or a lack of feeling, also known as paresthesia, and deficits in strength through one side of the neck, shoulder, and arm, possibly into the elbow and hand. It's considered a grade one peripheral nerve injury in which the outside container of the nerve known as the myelin that helps conduct nerve signals is damaged and it usually repairs within three weeks and commonly getting getting hit in the neck area like Markeef was tends to result in the worst symptoms and for Markeef it actually happened twice. Originally I'm guessing it was probably very minor which is why he was able to play on but then after the re-aggravation the symptoms were just too much and the the team decided to give him time to recover so speaking of his recovery timetable the team has said it's about six weeks and that makes sense considering he had the injury and then re-aggravated it again like we talked about however there are a few things we need to be cognizant of moving forward nerve injuries tend to have a higher variability in recovery timetable and also, we have to understand team and contract situation. Markeith is in the final year of his deal on a team that will be looking to sell assets. So both parties will be motivated for him to return to show a clean bill of health in Washington's case to get a better return and in Markeith's case to show that he's deserving to go to a new team and deserving of a new contract. There are some risks moving forward as the injury does tend to recur and 15% of people tend to have a new neck injury later on. That does it for this episode. You can always find me at 3CB Performance on Instagram or Twitter.